Today, we test drive a C7 Corvette convertible with Makanakai. Go ahead and check out the Top Snap Podcast on YouTube, topsnappodcast.com, and on SoundCloud, Top Snap Podcast. And Bubba can't fit in the car with Makana. He barely fits in the car last night, as in the picture you can see right here. So Makana does not like the new little slip we're not doing. I'm not attaching it to a prong collar. We're just gonna do a slip today. And she's not liking it. And the reason why I did the little vest thing, the collar around the chest, is to give her some purpose. Again, anything to desensitize her body. I put a regular collar on her. I put the, put the body collar on her. She's getting frustrated. I also put Bubba's collar on. He's not going anywhere, but he got super excited and I wanted it to be a neutral, a neutral experience for him so that he's not super hyper every time we put a collar on him for to take a walk. How about do? Makana has a thing with towels. She likes to just grab random towels. If there's a towel hanging, she'll grab it. <laughs> she likes to chew on the leash as well. But again, you know, you can put okay. Sit. Down. Makana, down. Makana, stay. Yep, you stay. Stay. Makana, can I come? Makana, can I come? So this is what we're working on. So I have these little co Cosequin tabs. They're joint tabs, but they like them. Well, two of the dogs like them. Bubba does not like them. All right, what kind of guy come? See? Good girl, you stay. So like I said, we're doing a review on this uh, C7 Corvette convertible Stingray. It's a hoot to try to get the dogs in here. Water everywhere. Truck is so small, it barely fits that little tiny clipboard. Automatic close. Check that out one more time, watch. Pretty cool, you lift it up, do your thing, set it down like this, which closes itself. Pretty awesome. All right, Makana, sit down. That's a very good girl. We're gonna do a slip knot. Nice and high on the neck. All right, baby girl, let's go. Back up. I know you don't like that. Can you sit down? Sit. Makanakai. Thank you. All right, come outside easy. All right, stop. Thank you, stay. All right, stop. Back up. Makanakai. Girl. All right, slow down. Give me a stop. Thank you. Sit. Easy. Yeah, I know. Easy. We're going in this car right here. This is fun. Oh, pa, pa, pa. Hold on. See? So I had Bubba in here last night. You literally got to protect everything from these dogs. All right, get in there, baby girl. Get in there, good girl. You're such a good girl. I think she might be the best road dog of them all. See, she already knew, she already knew what was going on. All right, we gotta tuck your tail a little bit. We're gonna tuck your tail and we're gonna go slow. Slow time. It's okay, baby girl. There we go. All right, so C7 Corvette, back to the, again, this is a rental and uh, the paint pretty hammered. I put on some, um, it's kind of beat it up because I put on some polish. I had to put on polish because I couldn't stand driving an ugly looking car. All right, so I blew my knee out a couple weeks ago, a little bit. And so instead of putting my leg in there and 
torquing it, I get in old man way. Put my butt in first and then slide in. This is very tight. It's very race car-esque. Um, I say we should go with the top down. What do you say? Let's do that. Let's start it up. Oh. Rumble, rumble. Sounds good. V8. Makana fits in here really nice. She's so far the best. We had Aurora in here. She did well. Bubba just is, is so massive. He just takes up everything in here. It's kind of uncomfortable for him, I think, but Makana's already liking it. This is her first road trip in it. Digging it, mama? Yeah? Good girl. All right, so you put the little visors down and there's a button right here. And you just push this down. Rolls down the windows. It pulls the canopy, opens the canopy up and then the top folds right down into the canopy. And then the, I guess they call it a canopy or whatever. There you go. And the little beep says that you're confirmed. You can let go of the button at that point. But you got to hold the button down the whole entire time. It's not just, you don't just click it. I figure out a little indention from it too. This is not a stick shift. Thank God it would be horrible if this was a stick shift um, for daily use. Okay. You, all you race car people freak out. I have an SS. It's in that garage and it is a sedan with a six speed. So get off my case. And that's a five speed and my other convertible is a five speed. So lay off. All right. There's a time and a place for automatic. This has paddle shifters. All right. So it makes it fun. You still kind of get that essence. All right. Let's back up. We got a backup camera. The navigation and all this is way antiquated, but it does, it, it suffices, but it's really cluttered and I haven't messed with any of the settings as far as contrast, brightness. All right, so I, since I'm, I have to drive, I'm gonna just pull out of my parking lot right, right now, in my driveway, <clears throat> and then we'll do one later. I mean a review in a minute. That was a fun trip and Makana was really good during that. So the review of the car is it's a great California sunny day car. Just something like this, like a day like this, a little bit of partial cloud so you don't burn your ears off and your dog doesn't get fried. But Makana loved it. Do you loved it? Do you loved it? <laughs> Did you like it? You? Yeah? Okay, we're gonna go back soon. Mr. Greg's gonna go take her for a quick little poopy walk and a jaunt and then let's talk about the car this car has a 6.2 liter v8 please forgive me corvette nuts i think it's an lt4 this is awesome I'm trying to find the hood popper do i really have to do a video or go look at a video to do this found it it's right there There it is. That's the hood popper. That sucks when you get your audio stuck in the door. Hence why I put this cable on there, right? Haha. -ha. I hope you can still hear me. <laughs> I almost went to the front. I almost went up here and pulled this lid right here. What? Shame on me, right? Corvette's hood's always folded back like this. Wow, what a filthy piece of... The rental car. Hey, I'm going to tell you. If you ever go buy a rental car... You better get a hell of a deal, man. You just get get an absurd deal. You've got to feel like you robbed them. Don't don't settle. I don't even know why I'm pulling the leaves out. I guess that's just respect for myself. Like yesterday, I gave it a wax job just because it's like I almost want to clean the engine bay. I'm returning this car today. I can't handle this. this is, look at the wiper blades. Are you fucking kidding me? Freaking kidding me? Sorry, it's a family channel. I just get irritated when that happens. So only buy a used rental car. If you yourself are just going to treat it like a beater, I mean, it's not that you couldn't salvage. There's the paint correction. This would be probably pretty deep. Let me see here. Yeah, there's a lot of pitting in there. But that being said, it is a black car and they're a bitch to take care of. So if it's just one of those things where, you know, you do a little mild paint correction and you baby it, clean it up. These could be decent. I know the this particular car, uh, it's got a little bit over, it's got under 60, over 50. We're somewhere like 55,000. Somewhere in the front end, not, not 
this not this stating not this stating wow not to mistake the fact that it has west lake tires okay so that just says enough on the front end grip feel and everything but i believe it needs some uh bearings or some bushings or something on this thing um but overall fun i got it up to you know considerable mile per hour and um enough to probably have gotten me in a big ticket that's for sure and it, it moved it boogied so that being said, I know there's front camera systems on it. Uh, I haven't been able to get them on the uh, on the car. I don't know if I don't even know what this is. Is it a one L LT, two LT, three LT, something like that? Um, I have no idea what package came with this. It seems like it's got a lot of stuff, but maybe it's, it should have a lot more. I'm not I'm not like that much of a Corvette guy. Last Corvette that we owned in the family was a 1984, which is a I believe a fourth gen so all right well I, I'm gonna get a mount for it and we'll go on a little drive experience with the Corvette C7 I wouldn't buy one but they're definitely worth renting especially at 80 bucks a day all right hope you enjoyed the video like subscribe I have some other channels aftermath moto MX RC and top snap podcast go check it out all right this was the review and dog review the my dog's review of the C7 Corvette convertible